Good morning, it's Tim from City Subaru here today just showing you around our 2013 Mercedes-Benz AMG C63. So I'm just going to go around the car and just uh, point out uh, all the features and the condition of the car for you today. Uh, just to give you a bit of a better idea of the vehicle rather than just looking at the photos. So starting across the front of the car here, uh, as you can see the paint's in really good condition. Uh, plenty of clear coat and gloss over that car showing the reflections. Going across the front bar here, all in really good nick as well. Uh, I know in the photo it looks like there's a bit of a mark uh, under that light, but there's nothing really there at all there. Going across the front there, we do have our LED uh, daytime running lights as well as front sensors in there. That's all in really good condition, obviously those HID lights there. All nice and clean, the chrome in similar condition there as well. That is an AMG performance pack, so we do have a few little upgrades on this one. This one does have the standard rims though, and it does, however, it's coupled with those bigger red brakes underneath there. Rims are all in immaculate condition. Obviously, badged is a 6.3 litre uh, V8 AMG there. Going down the sides of the car, we've got the indicators on the mirrors there. Privacy glass on those rear windows there. Tint on the front and the sunroof. On the rear, tire here there's a slight little bit of gutter rash just there across the rear of the car we do have that carbon rear wing there as part of the performance pack upgrade there the quad exhausts the reverse camera sensors and camera that's just tucked up underneath there in all in really good nick in the back of the car through there down the passenger side one little mark on that rim there, just down there. Passage is all in really good nick. As for the rear seats, being the 224 upgrade pack as well, it does have the red black leather combo there. Rear visor as well. Or rear sh sunshade, sorry. Rear floor mats. Rear air conditioning controls as well. And just that last rim in really good nick there. Plenty of tread on those tyres. So with the performance pack upgrade there is a few extras regarding the actual power of the vehicle there. I'll just jump in. So like I said, regarding that power. So the car goes from a 336 kilowatt package to a 358. Uh, basically by porting and polishing the internals of the vehicle so I was giving it a few little upgrades from the uh, SLS C63 as well which puts out a little bit more power or the SLS 63 sorry so we've got our main infotainment screen just in here it does come with sat nav reverse camera as well as all your audio presets Bluetooth those sort of functions radio controls there as well as heated seats uh, override for our parking sensors dual zone climate control our adaptive drive modes as well from Comfort, Sports, Sports Sharp and Manual Mode. Basically adjusting the throttle responsiveness and weight. Our main media control for the screen there. Cruise and speed limiter. Electric telescopic adjustment for the wheel. Auto wipers and auto lights as well. Push button start. Now at this very point and moment in time the car has done when we bring it up 36,321 kilometers um, has initially been sold from Mercedes-Benz in Sydney uh, we've serviced down there until it made its way up here to us and of course these seats are all in a really good condition as well there front AMG floor mats as well and Harman Kardon stereo, electric mirrors and windows. AMG sill pads. And we do have full adjustments there. We have three side adjustments there for the side and wings and lumbar support of the interior of the seats. And of course our main adjustments on, on the door there with our memory seatings. So as far as the overall condition and quality of the vehicle goes, that about does us for the video today.
you have any more questions on the car, by all means, please feel free to get in contact with me. My contact details are in the comment section below. Of course, I'm more than happy to talk to you, especially if you're interstate. We're more than happy to help. We don't shy away from dealing with customers and we're more than happy to arrange transport options uh, in regards to our vehicles. So if you have any more questions, like I said, contact me. And apart from that, I thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.